health and safety. Three little words that can strike fear into the hearts of many workers, but it could just save your life. Even a task as simple as using a stepladder can be extremely hazardous. This is an example of a man using a stepladder correctly. This is not. Remember, before you even start your working day, you must make sure that you're wearing the correct PPE. Steel toe cap boots, suitable work trousers, high vis vest, goggles, ear defenders, gloves, bulletproof vest, high vis jacket, cricket shin pads, hard hat, another hard hat, and finally, a traffic cone. Now you're ready to start your working day, looking cool and feeling safe. And despite what you may have been told, this is not the correct PPE. No matter how close you work near a beach. Hey! Put the correct PPE on, you fucking twazzock! This is the correct PPE! No, it isn't! Unless you're planning on snorkeling in fucking sawdust, then no, it's not! Now, you still may be thinking that health and safety is just a load of old rubbish. But don't just take it from me. Meet Paul. His work colleague wasn't following health and safety procedures, and as a result, he lost his leg. My name's Paul. The incident happened about four or five years ago. I was at work, someone spilt some oil on the floor. They didn't tell the supervisor, didn't segregate the area, and unfortunately, I slipped and my leg fell off. I'm not sure about this script, mate. You, you know, I was... It's not how it happens. Yeah, well, we're not paying you to tell the truth, okay? Come on, just read the script. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with this. You know I was, I was born like it. Yeah, I don't care if you're Long John fucking Silver, okay? Just just read the script, you wonky-legged D- fuck. Don't talk to me like that, mate. You know I will crush your head between my pecs. Oh, give me that, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Give me that. You're not so big now, are you? Oh. Huh?